Victoria is one step closer to a landmark treaty with its first peoples. Indigenous leaders delivered a stirring address on the floor of Parliament, marking laws to create a special authority. State political reporter Mark Santa Martino. One by one, cleansing themselves with a walk through smoke, members of our First Peoples Assembly were welcomed from the cold front steps into the heart of Victorian democracy. This is an historic day for our state. Auntie Geraldine spoke first. There's no escape in the harsh reality that Aboriginal people have suffered immensely at the hands of the Victorian state. Encouraging every Victorian distracted or opposed to walk with her on the journey to treaty. Don't look back on this moment in years to come to see yourself on the wrong side of history. Instead, step into this moment and have the courage to help create change. Australia is the only Commonwealth country that's never signed a treaty with its Indigenous people, an agreement which will be informed by the ongoing truth-telling Yuruk Justice Commission. If we want to improve the lives of our people, we cannot move forward using the same systems that have been used against us and that have held us back. The vote will fly through with the support of all major parties, but even with an authority in place to oversee the process, Victoria is still years away from a treaty or possible treaties. It's got to be an inclusive and respectful process. Uh, for far too long we've had uh, uh, white fellas telling uh, First Nations Victorians how it ought to be, and I don't intend to do that. This model was designed by First Peoples for First Peoples. Walk with us and thank you. Mark Santomartino, Nine News.